subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. The pitcher is an often overlooked table essential. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I will share my collection along with creative uses and great ways to gift this important vessel. In American English, a pitcher is a container with a handle, mouth, and spout used for storing and pouring liquids. In other English-speaking countries outside of North America, it is often referred to as a jug, and in the 14th century, it was called an ewer, and that name revived during the Victorian era because it was a vase-like pitcher and they loved everything ornate in that era. I will show you some of the styles in my collection that range from classic to modern, along with some interesting uses and great gift ideas. I have such appreciation for antiques, and especially these pictures, knowing how they were used in hospitality over the years. Um, this is one that's very special in my collection. It is an etched glass. This was my grandmother's lemonade pitcher, and it was probably her mother's before she got it. And it's very unique that it has a lid, and that's because they served lemonade on the porch of her Victorian home, and it's probably to keep out the bugs. And on the bottom, it also has an embellishment, which makes it even more special. And another picture that I covet is this sterling silver hand monogrammed piece. And I acquired this at second debut resale in Houston with my first paycheck out of college. This early American press glass I picked up yesterday at an estate sale for $8. It's got lots of detail, it's footed, it's quite lovely, and I think I will be using this a lot. This sterling silver and glass overlay pitcher is not quite as old as the others. It is a lovely piece and definitely has the antique look. And it's got a lovely floral design with a bit of frost here in the center. And I use this occasionally for ladies' lunches. Vintage pitchers are lovely and somewhat affordable on the secondary market. This is an example of a very graceful, simple pitcher that has some embellishment on the bottom. It has a starburst, and then it has some cut work here that almost looks like cut crystal, though I do think it is glass. And the Jeanette Glass Company Iris Pitcher is one of my favorites. It has a sort of pinstripe design and a molded iris floral pattern. This I picked up at a garage sale for just a few dollars not long ago, and they made serveware to match it. I do have a coordinating serving bowl. This is great for everyday use. The Cambridge Glass Company made these ball pitchers, which are my favorites. I like to think of them as birthstone pitchers. The ruby, which is my birthstone in the month of July, is my favorite. And you'll notice that it has the ice lip spout. Very practical, and it is uh, somewhat offset the way the handle is situated. And they made these also in a topaz and also in an emerald. I think I need to have all the colors. These are lovely, and these are from my mother's collection. Depression glass was produced in the 1930s as an affordable alternative to crystal. It was made in translucent colors along with clear, and I sure do like the pink and the green. This large green pitcher is one that I use often for serving, and the pink is very sweet. It's made by the Jeanette Glass Company in the poinsettia floral pattern. And this green swirl pitcher is one that I also use a lot for juice. It's a nice size. And the Depression era also inspired glass that came in the next decade or two. And this is a good example of that. This was my mother's pitcher. And although it's not from the Depression era, it definitely has some similarities. And it also has a nice ice lip jug here. I like that for serving. And it's got a quite a lovely handle. It looks like blown glass. And these are my fun, colorful depression glass pictures. 
Classic pictures are always in style and fit with any table decor. And you know, my collection wouldn't be complete without Waterford Crystal. This is the Innisfree picture that I chose as a bride. It's a lovely piece with beautiful cuts. And surprisingly, I found the same picture at my neighborhood Goodwill store a few years ago for $10. And I have a friend that had been looking for it, so I let her have that. And I do have a couple more Waterford pieces. This is the Martini pitcher. It also has that special ice lip jug feature. And it's probably from the late 70s, early 80s. And I use it for orange juice when I serve mimosas. And the Lismore ice lip jug is one that I chose as a bride. And that has been very purposeful as well. And for a classic look, the Wilton Armatel Flutes and Pearls has nice beading, really pretty design that you can dress up or down. And this clean classic look is actually a vintage piece. It has an etched single monogram that is my first initial, and it's a picture that I use often in entertaining. And this Lilies of the Valley from Tiffany and Company is a crystal pitcher with beautiful etching. And this I found just last week on shopgoodwill.com for $33. And I didn't realize until I opened my cabinets that I actually already had one. So now I can use two on the table to balance it out. And I did look up replacements and it's $225. So I think that $33 was a good deal. You can never go wrong with a classic look and it's always in style. Modern pictures are great for entertaining and it gives you a whole new look. This offset oversized picture is one that I use often in entertaining and it confuses people. When they set the picture back down, they always wanna put it upright, but it is resting on its side and it does fit quite a lot. This is one that I get lots of use out of. And this clear classic Bermuda picture from Marquis by Waterford is very modern, it has a footed base, and originally they made it with a blue base and a teal blue, and I chose the clear as a bride. And plastic is definitely useful. This almost looks ceramic, but it is a white pitcher made of melamine. And I bought this from a friend at her garage sale last weekend for $1. And that's great for poolside and outdoor entertaining. And this picture in the center looks rather mid-century modern. It is an Orla Keeley. I was not familiar with the brand. I purchased this at my friend's estate sale. And I like the cool vibe that it gives off. And these blue cobalt rimmed pitchers are Mexican hand-blown glass. This is great for casual entertaining. I like the shape of this pitcher. And this other one is also wonderful. I bought it from a friend at her garage sale along with a set of glasses. And this pitcher here was $3 at a garage sale. So I am all set for outdoor and casual entertaining. Unique pictures add interest and a touch of whimsy to your table. This gurgle pot is one of our favorites. I'll show you how we have fun with it when serving our guests. Isn't that fun? Oh, the kids love it. It's such a great piece and very practical too. The gurgle pot. And this is the real McCoy. I picked this up at the Hope Chest resale market this week for $8.50. And it is a cobalt with a turkey cameo design. I think you could use it year round. It's a very nice piece. And this stone pitcher I found at Ma'am Resale a couple months back. And it says, Fein schmeckt der Wein aus einem Krug von Stein. It's German and it says, the wine tastes fine from this stone jug. It's got a beautiful design and I feature this as a centerpiece on a birthday table. And this was loaned to me by a friend. It's a lovely retro piece. I think it is such fun for breakfast and uh, great, of course, for orange juice. That was the intended purpose. She found this at a resale shop with a set of glasses. Isn't that fun? I think it definitely adds interest to the table. And one of my friends gifted us with this picture. It's from Feed the Word and it says, be blessed today. And that's a great uh, milk pitcher for cereal for the table. And my Villarain Bach Burgenland Blue pattern I am featuring as a unique item because there were not many made in transferware, meant as an actual table pitcher. You do find them for vanities, but not for table use. And this is certainly fun. This pattern was started in 1936. 
And here's a picture that a friend loaned me that she uses in her home decor. It's made by the Mary and Martha Company. And it says, filled with fresh joy from the Lord. And that's a picture that she uses quite often in her home. And these are all unique pictures that add such interest to your table and to entertaining. I like to serve a variety of beverages and the unexpected from my pitchers. I often will serve a sangria, a party punch, and also a dessert. My grandmother's recipe for custard sauce is from the Victorian era and has been passed down through the family. I will include a link to my website and you can find the recipe for grandmother's custard. I think you might enjoy it. And another idea from my new favorite cookbook, Paula's Palette, Cooking and Dining with Heart and Soul, is an iced tea punch. This is all about Texas hospitality and it is quite refreshing and delicious. So I encourage you to follow the link and take a look at her wonderful cookbook. And along the lines of cooking, another great use for a pitcher is a utensil holder, especially if space is an issue and maybe you could pull this from your kitchen and use it on the table if needed. Uh, that's just an idea. And I like to dress my pitchers for the party and they, after all, can be showcased as well. And this is a variety of French ribbon, sheer ribbon and tulle to set the mood for the party. And this is an EAPG, Early American Press Glass Pitcher. It's over 100 years old. I found in the Nashville area at Goodwill for $4.99. And this offset large pitcher looks well-dressed with a festive ribbon. And of course you can choose colors that go along with your theme and make it a focal point. This wide-mouthed pitcher, I I'm thinking would be great for makeup brushes. I'm currently using a small ice bucket on my vanity and it's getting just a bit too small. So I think I might upgrade to this. And this beautiful milk glass hobnail pitcher is serving as a vase. What a great idea to find another purpose. And I filled this with silk flowers. It's something that looks very showy, but yet understated with the spout and the handle. These are just some creative ideas for you for your pictures. Pictures are perfect for all occasions. And if you've seen with my collection, they are somewhat affordable with this early American press glass, $8 at an estate sale, and this depression glass you could find on the secondary market. There's so many options out there. I encourage you to check your local resale. And this Libby glass pitcher I found at my Goodwill for $3.99 last week. It's something you can find at Target or Walmart, and it's probably about $10, a very classic look. And here I have filled it with lemons and I've embellished it with some fun lemon lime colors. And I've written my best lemonade recipe on a card. And that you could either hole punch and add to it here with the ribbons or place it in a card with a note of encouragement, especially if you're looking to cheer someone up because as they say, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So that is a very creative gift idea. And I'm often looking for hostess gifts. And I like to say, when thinking about what to bring, take a picture, it will last longer. But seriously, it's a gift that they will use and enjoy for years to come. And another idea when bringing fresh flowers to a hostess is put it in a pitcher. That could be part of your gift as well, especially for a birthday and you're meeting in a restaurant, let's say, because I know as a hostess, I don't like to receive flowers without a vase because I am busy preparing for the dinner and I don't need to take time to process the flowers and look for a vase. And that would be a very affordable way to bring flowers to a friend. So I hope that you find these useful tips helpful when you are looking for birthday and housewarming gifts for your friends and family. It's nice that pictures can be used in a myriad of ways and can also be space savers as well. I hope that when you're out shopping at your favorite charity resale, Goodwill, or your local store that you look at pictures a little bit differently now. They also make great gifts, so keep that in mind. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your every day with beautiful pictures. Thanks for joining Lady Mary Beth. Please hit like and subscribe. I hope to see you next time for more lifestyle tips.